A lesson about leadership that I wish someone had told me along the way is that to lead well, one has to be willing to constantly learn. It means completely being open to new information, new ideas that come from sources that seem unexpected. I'm inspired by artists. I'm inspired by creative visionaries, people whose ideas often come from the most surprising places, but who are able to take content and form and allow us to understand the world and ourselves very differently through the experience of their artwork. My career path has been blazed by other women before me. The amazing Dr. Mary Schmidt Campbell. She was director of this institution for over a decade and brought me here as a young intern and in many ways determined what my path would be. Dorothy Miller, who was a curator at the Museum of Modern Art in the 30s, 40s, into the 50s, who did a pioneering series of exhibitions called the Americans Exhibitions. Betsy Jones, who was a curator at the Smith College Museum of Art when I was a student there. And Linda Goodbryan, a pioneering African-American woman curator who created the alternative space devoted to black artists called Just Above Midtown. In many ways, my life and my work has been defined by the contributions of women in the field of museums and the field of art. A leadership strategy that I have found to be useful and helpful is to imagine, to actually visualize what you want the end result to be at the very beginning. Before you know what the resources that will be at your disposal will be, before you have any idea how you're going to make it happen, to imagine what you think it should be and then work backwards. read and absorb everything, but the way in which I stay current is being in conversation with people who are at the leading edge of their field. Even if it's something I know nothing about, I am completely and totally always engaged by people who are deeply embedded in what they do and talking to them, real conversation that in many ways can spark new ideas and new thinking. Uh, I think I make mistakes all the time, but I actually don't look at them necessarily as mistakes. I look at them as some kind of intuitive signal of a need to change course. And I learn from those intuitive signals that tell me that something is not working, that it is not operating with ease, that that sense of friction is my wake-up call to turn in another direction. And usually, when I make that turn, things resolve themselves in ways that are profound and powerful and really, really interesting.